Hello friends, my name is Sachin and this is a part 5 of this video series. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how we can install Windows 11 on Virtual Machine Hyper-V Manager. Now here you can see we have opened Hyper-V Manager. From here we are going to create a new virtual machine. Click on new and then click on virtual machine. From the wizard click on next. Here we are going to give a name to a virtual machine. As we are going to install Windows 11, I am going to type Win11. Click the checkbox and select the location where you want to save the virtual drive. So I am going to create a new folder and I am give that folder a name Win11 and I am going to click on select. I mean go outside of the folder and then click on the folder and then click on select. Alright. Now click next once again. Select generation 2 virtual machine. Click next once again. For Windows 11 machine we required 4 gigs of RAM. So we are going to enter 4100. then click next now we are on network configuration from here i am going to select the network adapter which we want to use click next here we have to select the virtual drive which we want to use i have selected the first radio button which will automatically create a new virtual drive okay so the path is already there click next to select the second radio button and then select the operating system ISO file which you want to install. I am installing Windows 11. After you have selected the image file, click on open. Alright, and then click on next. And in the last, click on finish. Then right click on the virtual machine and click on settings. On the settings window, click on processor. As per the Windows 11 requirement, we have to select two processors. Currently, there is only one selected. So let's make it 2. After increasing the processor count, click on OK. Then from the right hand side menu, click on Start. Press any key on your keyboard to boot it from the virtual CD drive. Here we have to select the language and the format and the last one the keyboard type. After that you can click on the next button. Now we have to enter the activation key. If you have the key enter it here. If you don't have the key press next. Here we have to select the operating system we want to install. I am going to select Windows 11 Pro. Then click next. Here we are going to select the type of installation we want to do. So I am going to select the second option which is custom installation window. After you click on the custom installation window you will able to see the hard disk which you need to be format. Once you click on the format click next and then this screen will appear the installation window the installation may take some time therefore i am going to fast forward the video now it is booting up once it is booted you will see the first window is this the right country or a region I have selected United States. Now click yes. Now it is asking for is this the right keyboard layout or the input method. Here I have selected English India and clicked yes. Now Windows is checking for the updates. After this we have to enter the name of your device. I have clicked on skip now. I'm going to do this later. Now here it says 
how would you like to set up this device i have selected the first option for personal use here we are going to add our account so i'm going to add a new account by creating a new email id here enter your first name and the last name then click next now it is asking for country slash region so i have selected india below that you can see it is asking for the birth date so you have to enter that as well now we have to add the security information add the alternate email address over here and then click on next now we have to set up the pin enter the four digit pin then click ok here it says use android phone from your pc now if you want to do this you have to scan the qr code but in our case we are going to click on skip now that was the final step for the installation now it is loading and updating the windows it will take some time depending on your internet speed for the updating and the loading meanwhile you have to wait for some time i have fast forwarded the video so you don't have to wait for long once the windows is rebooted the logon screen will appear let me switch to full screen mode now enter the pin which you have entered at the time of installation now it completes our this video tutorial in our next video tutorial i am going to show you how we can join a domain controller with this windows 11 machine if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video tutorial was presented by search and survey powered by itcoach.com and you're watching this video on youtube channel peter cries